Yes guys, we are really doing this. We have a 20 phone battery test. Now the test ends once the first phone is 0%. So over here in the bottom left corner, we have the HC10, the HC Ultra, the HC 11 the Google Pixel XL, the Samsung Galaxy 7 Edge, the Galaxy Note 7, the Galaxy S8 Plus. Over here we have the Sony Xperia X Performance, the Xperia XE, the Xperia XES, the Xperia XE Premium, the iPhone SE, the iPhone 7 Plus, the Huawei P10 Plus. Up there in the top left corner we have the LG 5, the LG V20, the LG 6, the OnePlus 3, the OnePlus 3T, and the OnePlus 5. Alright guys, so we're finishing up the first test now which lasted one hour. So we put all the phones at 50% brightness on the setting screen and auto brightness is off. As you guys see right there. Also all the phones are in airplane mode, all the apps are closed out so everything else even. Now the leaders so far are some of the Sony phones, the iPhones, uh, the LG 6 all around 98-99% and then the lowest amount is a couple of phones at 92%. Alright guys, we're finishing up the second test now. So we did the same thing except put all the brightness levels at 100%. Now surprisingly the LG 6 is in first place at 95% and then we have a bunch of phones in last place in the high 80s including the Sony Xperia X Performance, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, the LG V20 and a few more. One and a half hours in the third test, so with this one I'm running Temple Run 2 at 100% brightness. Let's go ahead and check on the results so far. Alright guys, so checking in the results so far. And we're now at about the halfway point, just had these phones just sitting here for the last 15 minutes. So in first place so far, we have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, 73% battery left. In second place, we have the OnePlus 5, 71%. And in third place, we have the LG 6 at 70%. Now in terms of last place, there's a few phones in the low 50s, including the Sony Xperia X Performance and the LG V20. Alright guys, let's do a YouTube test next. Alright guys, so unsurprisingly, it's pretty difficult to get 20 phones to stream YouTube at a time. So I'm going to stream half of them now and the other half later, 30 minutes each. And now as you guys see, the rest of the phones are streaming. We're now on to the final test, all phones recording in 1080p Full HD mode. And once one of these phones runs out of battery, the test will be over, and then I'll go over the results. Alright guys, I've been recording for about 40 minutes, and a few phones here in the top left corner have closed out of the app. Uh, they reached 5% battery level, so they automatically closed out of the app. So let's go ahead and load up a game for the remaining time. Alright guys, so as you saw, LGV20 just turned off. Uh, so that came in last place. And let's go ahead and go over the final results. Now, coming in last place, and a bit surprising here, we have the LGV20. So this has a 3200 capacity battery. But keep in mind, guys, this is one of only two phones that you can actually remove the battery, as you see right there. Now finishing a few seconds ahead of the LG V20 is the LG G5 and this phone also has a removable battery and 2800 capacity. In 18th place we have the iPhone SE. Now this phone did not run out of battery but only has 1% left. Has the smallest battery out of all the phones here at 1624 capacity but of course it is also the smallest phone. In 17th place, we have the Sony Xperia X Performance, 2% battery left, and 2700 capacity battery on this one. Next up, we have the HTC U Ultra, 3% battery left, and 3000 capacity battery. In 15th place, we have the iPhone 7 Plus with 4% battery left, so this has a 2900 capacity battery. In 13th place, we have a two-way tie with the HTC 10 and the Huawei P10 Plus. So both these phones 7% battery left. Now you have a 3000 capacity battery on HC10 and 3750 on the Huawei. Now coming in 12th place you have the OnePlus 3. 3000 capacity battery and 11% battery left. Coming in 11th place is fittingly the HC11. So 3000 capacity battery on this and 14% battery left. We have a couple Sony phones breaking into the top 10. So we have the Sony Xperia XE. 
at 17% battery left, 2800 capacity on this. And in ninth place, you have the Sony Xperia XES, slightly newer, again, 2800 capacity battery on this one, and 18% battery left. In eighth place, you have the Galaxy 7 Edge. Now you have a pretty big 3600 capacity battery on this, and 19% battery left. Coming in seventh place is the LG 6. So as you guys see, 20% battery left, and you have a 3200 milliamp battery on this one. Coming in 6th place with a 3230 capacity battery, we have the Sony Xperia XE Premium and 21% left. Now entering the top 5, in 5th place we have the OnePlus 3T, 24% left and 3400 capacity battery. Now coming in 4th place we have the Google Pixel XL, so 27% left and 3450 million battery on this. Coming in 3rd place. So pretty ironic guys, you have the Galaxy Note 7, of course this has been discontinued, and 29% left. In second place you have the OnePlus 5, 3300 capacity battery on this, and the battery is actually slightly smaller than the OnePlus 3T, but still guys, excellent optimization, and 38% left. That just reads first place, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Amazing job here, 3500 capacity battery, and 42% left. Alright everyone, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Now I do have a lot more videos planned for all the phones you see here, so if you want to check that out in the future, you can go ahead and subscribe for more. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching.